Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Hello everyone, it's your Gibbs and we've got another Nancy Drew game for you. This is the Ransom of the Seven Ships. I've played quite a bit of these Nancy Drew games already, so if you're looking for the new ones, some of the older ones, I will have a bunch of them listed down in the video description, so if you want to check out some other Nancy Drew games, go ahead and go there. Also, if you're on my main channel page, you'll see kind of a whole section dedicated to the Nancy Drew games. So, plenty of Nancy Drew games played already and plenty more to play. And I do like the fact that we've got our little stuffed doll from the last game and even our gnome too. So. Uh, we don't really need to go too much into detective or even, well, I mean, there's obviously lots of games in here. Uh, I think I started at White Wolf of Icicle Creek, and I've moved forward from there, and I've also did a lot of the, uh, well, I've did all of the current games so far. So, alright, so let's go ahead and find out what's going on in this case file. Leave it to best to enter an online sweepstakes and wind up winning a five-day vacation in the Bahamas. Naturally, she invited her cousin George and me to go with her, and naturally, we said yes. As luck would have it, Dad and I have to go to a father-daughter banquet on the day the vacation begins, which means I'm going to have to arrive a day late. But the ecotourism resort where we're staying sounds very cool, and the island is so remote you can only get there by float plane. White sand beaches, turquoise waters, and tropical sunshine, here we come! <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see how well that turns out. All right, time for us to uh, hit the ticket. So standard choice here. I always play on the senior detective or whatever the higher detective or higher difficulty level is. It's time to go on a plane, Chicago. Going all the way down to past Orlando. Wow. Oh, Miami first, then Barbados. Sorry, there it Bahamas. is! Red Isle! It looks so small. It'd take you a while to get anywhere down there on foot, I can tell you that. Unless you're super athletic. How often do you fly charters out here? Your two friends, the ones I flew out here yesterday? They were my first passengers in weeks. Pretty isolated, huh? Granted, a lot of these places shut down during the summer on account of hurricanes. But even when it's not storm season, I guarantee you, that island down there is pretty much a ghost town. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> There's George. Hi, slow down. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, hey, hold on. George? Stop. No, don't go. Stop. No, come back. Come back. George, what's wrong? What are you doing? I was trying to stop him. We need help. Why? What's happened? Bess has been kidnapped. And when I woke up this morning, Bess's bed hadn't been slept in and there was no sign of her. She never came back from going to watch the sunset. Here's the note the Gibsons left. I knew I should have gone with her, but I was just so tired. This is all my fault. It is not your fault, George. The Gibsons. They're the people who own the resort? Yes, but there's no sign of them either. Well, that isn't creepy at all. Uh, let's see here. Welcome to Dread Island. We apologize for not being here to greet you. We've taken the boat out as conditions for deep sea fishing are better than they've been in months. We will be back by morning, but please make yourselves at home in the meantime. And if you absolutely must, take the golf cart out to Sangri Beach. And here, here's the note I found from the kidnappers. They obviously knew you were coming. It sure looks that way. Wonder who El Toro is? He was the Spanish captain of a fleet of seven ships that sank near Dread Isle about 300 years ago. 
There's something about him in those books over there. Okay, so here we go. This is the ransom note. Nancy, we've got your friend. To get her back unharmed, you need to do something for us. Find El Toro's treasure. Have you seen anyone else on the island at all? No, but then we really didn't have time to explore yesterday because we arrived so late. And I've been in here ever since I found that ransom note. I've been trying to get this satellite phone to work so we can call for help. So far, no luck. I feel so useless. You can do it, George. Just keep at it. In the meantime, I'm going to look around. Maybe go out to this Sangre Beach place. Bess took the only golf cart that worked. That one that still here needs water or something. Anyway, keep me posted. Okay. That was fast. On second thought, I'll see you <laughs> later. So we have a map here. So what do we have here? Calamity Bay, Shark Cove, Sangre Beach, Dread Island. Huh. Sounds like the name of a uh, really bad. This closet has a pretty sophisticated lock on it. Probably to keep out nosy guests. Oh, no offense. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing here? I don't know. Am I supposed to solve this? Probably. Okay. Got some funky drum beats in the background. Looks like it goes in the plus, does it? Alright, we'll come back to that. I just want to get a sense of uh, the island. I don't want to spend too much time solving puzzles just yet. So we got a book here, In Search of the Seven Virtues Fleet. Okay, so this is kind of neat. Well, I'm not sure if we'll grab that or not. Oh, it looks like it's going to stay here. Book exchange, all right. What do we have over here? It's a birdie. Ah, stranger danger, stranger danger, stay back. It's okay, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Cuckoo's my name. Talking's my name. Cuckoo, that's weird. You look just like this bird I met in England named Lulu. Grandma Lulu, pretty bird, pretty bird. Grandma Lulu. You like being here all by yourself? Cuckoo want fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Monkey see, monkey do. Cuckoo want fruit. Fruit. Monkey see, monkey do. Cuckoo want fruit. Okay. It freaked out like that with me too. Probably tired of eating bird seed. Cuckoo on fruit. Aww. You've made that painfully clear. I'll see what I can do. Cuckoo on fruit. Aw. That's adorable. Uh let's see, there was something over here still. What's this all about? Sunny June's field notes. Monkey Mania. Interact with the vervets. Monkey sounds, okay. Fair enough. What do we have here? It's the Krollmeister Bat Seeker. Looks like this thing needs a battery. Looks like this needs to be put together. Okay. I guess we'll just Stick some resistors everywhere. Can I rotate it? Yes, I can. Okay, we'll just assemble this, I guess. I don't know. But it said I, I still need a battery, though. Let's see what we end up with here. Put that down there. We still need to get this one, so I'll put that one over. No, there. And then we have a couple of resistors. I don't know, does it really matter? That looks right, but I still need a battery. 
Okay, so we still need a battery. Wow, look at all these different uh, bats here. Wow, brown bat, buffy flower, waterhouse leave nosed. Local bat frequencies. Oh, that's neat. Well, should we go for a walk? Here's our golf cart. Warning, low water level. Do not use until batteries water levels are at 100%. Whoa, what's going on here? Something to do with the batteries. Okay, so we'll go there. Looks like locked. that's locked. Maybe the Gibsons kept the key at the front desk. It's possible. Anything's possible. Guess we can go and ask our friend George. Who seems to be manning the front desk. Ah, oh, let's just go out to the beach. The dock. A sailboat. At least it would be one if it had sails. So, maybe we need to find sails. Come on, Nancy, you can do this. Beautiful beach. Shark diving ecotourism resort. Go this way. Have you got something? Yeah, the sneaking suspicion that this whole thing, the contest best won, the trip here, the note from the Gibsons, I think it was all just a big ploy to capture one or both of you so someone could force me to find this treasure for them. That's so diabolical. Who would do something like that? I don't know. Someone who knows I like to solve mysteries, maybe? Great. That narrows it down to what? Everyone who reads the newspaper? Nancy, you've solved mysteries in practically every corner of the world. <sighs> You're right. The only way we're going to find out who it is is by finding Bess. You think the Gibsons are in on it? Mmm, I'm not sure. No, I don't. My guess is they closed up for a couple of weeks so they could visit the mainland or something. They probably have no idea what's going on. So, Bess is gone, our cell phones don't work, and we're trespassing. The hits just keep coming. I need a 9-volt battery. Have you come across any? I'll keep my eyes open, but you may be out of luck. Have you by any chance seen the key to the shed outside? I've seen a key. I'm not sure if it's the key. Here, try it and see if it works. I Thanks. hope it does. Anything else? No. I better fine. get back to work. You know where to find me. Okay, let's go quickly try that key. Might not work, but we'll try it. Yay, it does work. What the heck is this? Directions for use. Each of the six batteries in a cart must be filled to precisely 100 milliliters. Okay. What's this all must about? Must be where they store the sails. How do I open it? I don't know right just yet. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh, Put this thing on here for the time being. Whoa, holy cow. What does this even mean? Good grief. <laughs> How do I... Wow. Okay, so this is clearly a puzzle. We'll just back out of that let's for now. Let's see if it'll start. No, I'm pretty sure it won't. I broke it. I don't want to start it. Oh, great, Nancy. Way to go. <laughs> when the battery blew up, you didn't catch fire. The, the golf cart, the shed, and most of the resort did. I didn't want to do that puzzle. You tricked me into doing it, game. Get back out. We'll do that soon enough, but let's not uh, get hasty here. I want to go and try and do this puzzle instead. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I don't know what we'll do here. Let's see if we can get this done. Go. We're done. 
Whoa, we get to go diving? Hey, I found some walkie-talkies. We should carry one with us at all times. That way we'll always be in touch. Here. Thanks. Good idea. This scuba gear might come in handy. Ooh, good no. thing I'm up to date on my diving certification. <laughs> good, 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 Nancy. There's a map in here. That's weird. What is? I've solved a case in every spot that's marked on this map. You think the Gibsons have been keeping tabs on you? Kinda looks that way. Probably just a coincidence. It does look kinda weird. Looks like we might have to come back here to refill our air tank. That's cool. I'll just quickly save it here because we can. So now what, we, what should we do? Uh... Oh, there's the bird. Well, we need a sail for that sailboat, don't we? So, how am I supposed to do this now? Ah. Uh, wait. Hang on a second. I wonder if this means anything. So, let's go back to here for a second. Was there numbers in here? There were numbers in here. Aha! This is exactly what I need. I'll screenshot that. So, for example, the first number is a 7. And then it's a 9. And then I think 2. So, 7, 9, 2, I think is the first three digits of this puzzle here. And then it's that one there. Okay. I was zero. I don't know where the last one is, but we'll just brute force that one. Seven. Not go this way. Nine. Two is the next one. Zero, and then we'll just brute force this one. Yay! Now we have a sail. Nancy's going sailing with her new scuba gear. Let's go out to the sailboat. All the way to the end of the dock. Yeah, we're on a sailboat. What? I actually have to sail? I don't even know where to go. Ah. Uh, <laughs> where am I going? Oh, I hit something. I'm probably not supposed to do that. There's wind! Am I supposed to go this way? Oh, that's actually the wind direction. Where is Nancy going? Oops. Sailing the ocean blue. Whoa, that scared me. All right, Nancy, I, I'm not sure where we need to go here, so I think we'll go back. I guess to here, right? That was cool. Let's go see if there's anything else. Maybe we have to do that golf cart puzzle. We'll see. Anything else in here? Now I have a shovel! Well, I guess we should do this puzzle, right? I think so. Alright, let's see if we can do this without uh, blowing up this time. Okay, so... What am I got here? I've got uh, a bunch of different things here. Now... Uh, I'm not sure... So that basically has all the green there. And uh, if I do this... No? I don't know what I'm doing. Why won't that work? Uh, okay. 
Okay, so that gets me there, but how does that even work? Well, we want to have another even one. Did I just reset it? I think I just reset it. Ha ha ha! Oh, so that's what that button does. Okay. Try this, I guess. I don't know. I guess, does it matter if I do left or right? I have no idea. Well, at least they're all in even numbers now. Uh, what happens if we do that? It's because we want that to be... Do I have this right? I don't know. I'll try it. Okay, so these... There we go. We got three out of the six out of a hundred. So now we got to do the other ones. Uh, let's see now. Not sure. What does that do for me? Oh, look at that. Okay, so now we only have one more, and I guess it's all going to go to this one. And now we get to dispense that. That should do it. Yay! Golf cart. Charged up. Let's start her up. Whoa-ho-ho! -ho, look at me go! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! I'm in a golf cart. <laughs> go, Nancy, go! Did we go off the beaten path over here? Oh, look, it's pink! I like pink. What do we have over here? Definitely off the beaten path here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's an Easter egg! Hello! Alright, well I think this is where we stop for now. Nancy's just gonna drive around here with her golf cart. And uh, she's gonna do some donuts like that. Woo! Donut time! I'm your Gibbs, and uh, let me know what you think of the game so far. I always love to hear your comments down below. And until next time.